Hey, what's up, Andrea? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It was great talking to you uh, yesterday. This is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas. I'm just gonna show you three easy ways to beat your competition online and outrank them for the term home remodeling San and uh, Angelo. And I know you're probably wondering why I'm even making this video for you. It's simple. There's a lot of business owners out there that are spending all of their time running their business, taking care of their customers, you know, doing what they're supposed to do to keep the doors open, and they don't really have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. And typically the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they just don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I found that by making these attack plans and just giving them away for free, a lot of these business owners still end up raising their hands going, you know what, Devin, I like you, just take care of all this stuff for me. So at the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks on my sleeve and you want me to help you take care of this stuff, just give me a call and we can chat. And if you want to take this information and apply it yourself, that's totally okay too. This is completely free education with no strings attached. I would appreciate some feedback at the end of the video, just letting me know what you thought, if you did find it helpful. Um, I'm going to talk to you about three things today. The first thing is going to be content, the second thing is going to be backlinks, and the third is citations. So to start with content, that's everything on the front page of your website that Google crawls through and looks through to determine what keywords to rank you for. And keywords are just phrases that people search into Google to find your business. So for you specifically, it'd be things like home remodeling San Angelo, okay? Uh, and if you scroll down, you can see uh, your website is it's a really good looking website. It looks like it's professionally made. Um, as far as content goes, or no, yeah, yeah, this is nice. I love all the photos and stuff like that. This is really, really nice. Um, as far as content goes, Google's going to want you to have closer to about 1,500 to 2,000 words to consider your authority. And it also includes the text behind your images. So... You see whatever your image is saved as. You want to save that as perfect. Kitchen home remodel San Angelo. A new home built. Yep. Hey, you're doing it right. That's awesome. So you've got that down for sure. Uh, just want to add some more content would be my, my only tip here. You look at your make it you got climate right construction. These guys have quite a bit of text. But again, your 1,500, 2,000 words going to blow them out of the water. And then San Angelo home remodeling. You see how they put a ton of text. I don't really care too much about pictures. But again, your 1,500, 2,000 words is going to blow them out of the water. You're also going to target the right keywords, okay? Uh, which would be like home remodeling San Angelo. You want to have that kind of stuff inside your text. That's my first tip is content. My next tip is backlinks. Uh, Google's like a popularity contest. And then look at how many other websites are linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. And not all links are created equal. You do get a lot more power from other like plumbing companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you. Because obviously you're not a pizza company. And so I use a tool to check this out, it's called Ahrefs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it does give you really valuable information on what's going on in the back end of websites. And so it shows that you've been doing uh, SEO since beginning of June, you started getting links to you, and you've gone like big, long periods without much changes, and then recently you started getting some more. You're currently sitting at 10 referring domains. Look at Climate Right, these guys only have 18, and uh, these guys only have nine. The only difference is how much content they have and what keywords they're targeting. So what you're gonna wanna do is, one, I'd add some more, I'd add about 10 more websites, and you could do this by just copying your competitors, you know, go see what they've got. Uh, I would actually probably add 20 or 30 to beat these guys. And you would go and try to find uh, websites that will allow you to um, get links from them. So like, you just go on here, it looks like these made, they made these sites. See, I see your model. Yeah, looks like they made these sites, um, but like Roofer is probably a good one. Um, you can just go down and just go down and just find websites to get links from. Okay, sign in or register at your website there. Uh, but the real big win comes from right here. Uh, what you're being found for right now, you're on the second page for Home Remodeling San Angelo, second page for General Contractors, uh, third page for this General Contractor. So you're gonna want to be ta targeting these keywords. In your uh, content, all right. The last thing I talk to you about today is going to be citations. When somebody types in home remodeling San Angelo and they're ready to buy, they're going to call the first remodeling company that shows up that seems trustworthy. And you obviously want to be that remodeling company because those are the easiest customers to close. Now, there's a ton of people out there who have ad walkers, so they never see these ads, or they just skip them because they've had bad experiences. And so, where you want to rank yourself is in the Google My Business or local map pack section. And getting hit for requires having more citations than your competitors. Citations are anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web, such so as like Angie's List, Yelp, Home Advisor, um, Yex, Facebook, White Pages, Yellow Pages, all really common ones. I would, uh, if I were you, I'd find out what directories your competitors are listed in, list yourself on those exact same ones, and then add a bunch more on top. I always recommend adding 30 to 40% more to give yourself a nice space cushion. So once you do take this number one spot, it takes your competitors a long time to catch up to you and you can hold that number one spot really easily. 
That's all I've got for you. I hope you found this really informative. As a quick recap, I recommend getting your website up to about 1,500 to 2,000 words on the front page and targeting the correct keywords. Uh, you're going to want to add probably about 20 to 30 more websites point beating you just to completely dominate these guys. If you added 10, you would just be barely beating them, but you want to completely dominate them. And then citations, you want to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in and list yourself in those exact same directories and then add a ton more on top. Um, thank you so much for watching this. If you want to take this information and apply it yourself, that's totally okay. Like I said, this is free information, free education. There's no strings attached. All I ask is you send me back a sentence or two of feedback, just letting me know exactly what you thought about the video. If you have any feedback from me that I can make it better, anything like that. Uh, and if you want me to help you with this, just give us a call. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. Uh, you can always respond back to this email as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope you have a great day. Bye.